Hey guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with an update about what's on the bench. In the last workbench update, I had just finished off the off-road charger from Furious 7, and I haven't started any new long-term projects. Uh, instead, what I've been doing is trying to wrap up some things that have been sitting around for a while. The first of those is the Pacer from Wayne's World, and this is a glue bomb that I had bought off of eBay several years ago, and the body was so heavily painted that it was very difficult to strip. Uh, I ended up leaving it in purple power for several months actually before it finally broke through and got down to plastic. I actually wasn't able to salvage the interior at all. Uh, this is the interior out of the recent round two release of the kit. And round two did something kind of funky with the plastic. I'm not sure exactly what, but it reacted very badly to paint uh, to the point where it destroyed one and still wouldn't work on a second one that I had gotten. But I cleaned up the worst of it and it turned out not bad. I still need to add the license plates, but otherwise this is actually finished now. The other thing that I've been trying to get finished is Lola. Uh, I've posted this on the Scale Auto and the model car magazine forums as a work in progress and it started out as the AMT 62 Corvette because it's a kit that I already had in my stash even though the Revell kit is better uh, I didn't want to spring for an all new kit considering how much I knew it was going to be modifying and it's got a Stark engine in it as well as a completely scratch built chassis here and the interior's been updated a little bit with the upgraded center console. And my latest efforts have been toward the grill and bumpers. I've finally got those pulled together now. Uh, this kit required a lot of work to correct. If you haven't built it, out of the box the headlights are way too small and the front end is too tall, so all of that needed to be corrected. Overall, I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. And at this point, I just need to do the rest of the trim on it. Uh, need to finish off the rear bumpers. And then that'll be ready to go as well. I also have a couple of things that are in, still in the early stages. First of those is I'm working on the AAR CUDA that was in Furious 7. This is the AMT Snapfast kit. I've cut the hood out and I've got the beginnings of the AAR hood. Uh, it still needs a little bit of cleanup. I got some dust on it. Uh, this is a resin piece that I bought through uh, Southern Motorsport Hobby. And that also came with the rear spoiler. So it's not a direct fit, but it actually worked out pretty well. I did need to add these little fillets right here inside. And other than that, lined up pretty well. I've also got the interior and chassis ready to go, although I do need to add the steering wheel. Uh, I do have the pistol grip shifter in there. That was from one of Ravel's uh, Challenger kits. And I've got some custom wheels on it to match the movie car. And then the last thing is we've finally seen some nice weather here lately. And so I was able to finally get outside and strip the Aston Martin that's going to be the Goldfinger car. Uh, that's still very, very early on here, but it's something that's been kind of waiting for nicer weather so I could finally get to work on this. Now I have. And so that's about it for now. Uh, next week is the IPMS model show at the Polish Community Center on Washington Avenue in Albany, New York. So I'm going to be at that, and I'll also be getting some pictures. I'll be posting that next weekend. And then the following week, I had somebody recommend that I uh, open up a viewer voting for the next long-term project, and that actually sounded like a fun idea, so I'm going to be doing that. Right now, I'm pulling together a couple of ideas for what I'd like to uh, have considered, and I will be posting a video with the three projects, and you guys will have a chance to vote on it, and that will determine what the next thing is going to be.
So check back for that, as well as updates on these two. Uh, I will be posting links to the finished pages, and I am hoping to put together a video for the finished Lola. Thanks for watching.